again. I want to continue with our study of self-training as it relates to uh, the Togakure Ru Ninja Biken. Uh, when we last left off, I showed uh, Kesegiri, which is Ski Dogiri. All right. Hatsumi Sensei says, if we combine those two techniques with the cuts found in Raiko no Ken, we then can arrive at what he's calling Juhapo Ken, 18 cuts with the sword. So here's what it looks like, right? So I start in Haso from Raiko no Ken. As I step forward into the first Kesegiri, from here, it becomes a ski followed by dogiri. Go back to Sagan, and from here you do the next dogiri with a ski and a, yet a second dogiri. Go back to Sagan again here and slide back into Dajodan. Now you're going to step forward with the shomengiri. Ski Dogiri. Come up to Kasumi. You have Kesegiri, Ski Dogiri. Then we go to Kesegiri again, but from Kasumi first. And we have that Kesegiri, Ski Dogiri. Rise up to Gyaku Kesegiri, Ski Dogiri. That's what it looks like from the front. Let's now take a look at it from the side view. Starting in Hasso, we have our Kesegiri Ski Dogiri. Go to Sagan. From here, Dogiri Ski Dogiri. Briefly passing through Sagan, you come to Dajodan, you have Shomengiri, Ski, Dogiri. Go to Kasumi here. Kesegiri, Ski, Dogiri. Kasumi again, Kesegiri, Ski, Dogiri. And lastly, Gyaku Kesegiri, Ski Dogiri. So Hatsumi Sensei said, this is how we arrive at combining all the basic cuts found in Togakure Ru Ninja Biken and making them uh, come alive together. So when we do this cutting pattern, we can do all the cuts that we've learned, all the variations of those cuts, moving forwards, moving backwards, moving circularly. Until next time, take care.